And hi, everybody. Alex Faust and Jim Fox here with you. Kings haven't won eight in a row since 2017 in the fall of that year. And we had a chance to talk to Todd McClellan about this win streak, what the Kings are doing well right now. Came up with one word, adaptability. They are finding ways to win. And earlier in the season, Alex, we were talking about game management from a negative standpoint. That is completely turned around 180 to being a positive for the Kings. So back to what Todd was talking about. It's recognizing a situation very quickly and then adapting to that situation. Look at these numbers through the streak. Well, discipline staying out of the box is part of all this going on right there. Defending has been really sharp. Goaltending has been sharp. You're getting offense from more than just one line. So that's a pretty good recipe to pick up wins. And that's exactly what the Kings are doing right now. Good feeling surrounding this team. All right, let's take it game by game here. A different theme in each one of these seven games, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, finding different ways to win. So staple center, power play, special teams, win that battle. Kupari with a goal against the Montreal Canadiens. You win that battle, many times you win the game. Staple center, Buffalo. Kings were trailing 2 0. Momentum change with a scrap. Brendan Lemieux, the Kings go on to win that game 3 2. We stay at Staples Center. Solid, just an overall solid game against St. Louis Blues, but it takes a shootout to win, and the sniper Kaliab scores a goal. Then, just a kind of a patient approach by the Kings in the game against the New Jersey Devils, where you know, it took to overtime to get it done, but you're just kind of hanging around. You're involved, and you're making it happen that way. Do you remember this ship? We remember this shift from back in Toronto because outstanding four-check pressure and you know, three guys involved, two in the corner, willingness to muck for the puck, willingness to drive to the net, and then after that kind of a bend but don't break attitude, got the win in Toronto, on to Montreal, you go to overtime, more of a back-and-forth game than we've seen. The momentum swings in that game, but here is Kepi on a forward. Bang! Overtime, Kings win another one. And of course, you celebrate, but you have to move on. They moved on to Ottawa. And the goaltending of Jonathan Quick, especially in penalty kill situations. He gets some help, he gets some block shots, but third period, goaltending sound. And all of those things come together different ways. You find a win. Earlier in the season, the Kings were on a streak the other way, finding ways to lose. Now they're finding ways to win. One of the things that has emerged for the Kings this year is the emergence of Brendan Lemieux. The Kings are undefeated with him in the lineup, and we get the sense talking with some of the guys on the team. They love to play around this guy. He's loud in the locker room, and he brings energy to the team. Yeah, we talked about him in the pregame show. It was yesterday we talked to Blake Lozotte, and Blake basically said earlier in the season, he stood up and fought for me. That's the type of thing that brings a team together. He's integrated himself into this team. It took a while last year. He was not 100% healthy. Off-season surgery. Now he's healthy, and that volume you're talking about is big for any team. 82-game schedule, right? you got to pick up that volume and that energy. Then back on the blue line, Mikey Anderson. We talk about being aggressive as a team. The Kings, that's their theme this year. Well, Mikey's the type of player that many times when you don't notice him, when you don't call his name, that's when he's doing his best job. But last game in Ottawa, the most aggressive I've seen Mikey Anderson going after the puck offensively, joining the attack, leading the attack sometimes, hanging around the front of the net. So all those components, all those ingredients, again, the recipe working for the Kings. All right, it is hockey night in Canada here, so a little bit more time before puck drop. That'll give us a chance to look at how to cool the Jets. Once we come back to Winnipeg, it's a tough team. They've only lost once in regulation over their last 10. We'll talk about Kyle Connor and the Jets coming up.